Hey there everyone, let's quickly discuss about constant returns to scale IRS as well as DRS. So yes, to start with, let us start discussing with the returns to scale, right? Returns to scale. What are returns to scale? Now, returns to scale, first of all, is a long run concept. What else do we know about returns to scale? Returns to scale is about how much inputs are used as a result the return to those usage of inputs is output so we are talking about output production and inputs used right now uh, why are we discussing is because of the question that is in front of you and this question is directly from the Indian Economic Service question paper. So what is this question about? So you are given a production function x is equal to a l to the power alpha k to the power beta. Now this production function is our Cobb Douglas production function where uh, we know a is our uh, technology coefficient, l is labor used, b, uh, k is capital used alpha and beta the proportion of labor and capital used for the production now the question here is how would you restrict the values of alpha and beta so that there occurs constant returns to scale and decreasing returns to scale so in order to answer this let us first try to understand about returns to scale so returns to scale is a long run concept in the production process where we try to measure the output production as inputs are used right so Suppose now, let me write down Q is equals to function of labor and capital, right? That means the output is produced by using the inputs labor and capital. Now, as a firm, if I am changing the usage of input, that is labor and capital amount, then I would like in return something more than that because that will be profitable. If not more than at least equal to what I am changing in the inputs use, not less than that. So, depending on how much labor and capital I am changing and as a result, how much is the return, that is the production, we can define returns to scale into three. That is, number one is increasing returns to scale. Now, what are increasing returns to scale? It means if I, as a firm, change the proportion of labor and capital by lambda proportion, then if output changes by more than lambda proportion, that is, if function of lambda L and lambda K is greater than lambda times of Q, means if I change labor and capital by lambda proportion, then the outcome should be greater than lambda times just the output, right? So, next one is decreasing returns to scale. Now, decreasing returns to scale is, means what? How much I am investing or changing my labor and capital? The output, that is the return, should be less than that. That means if I change labor and capital by lambda proportion, then the output from it should be less than lambda times of Q. That means if I change labor and capital by two units, output should change by less than two units. So that is decreasing returns to scale. And finally, third one is about the constant returns to scale. That means how much I am changing the input is exactly equal to the return that I am getting. That is if I change labor and capital by lambda proportion, then it should be exactly equal to the lambda times the output. So this is the concept of long run uh, returns to scale. That is increasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale and constant returns to scale now as in the question it is given let us write down the production function we are given a Cobb Douglas production function that is Q is equals to a into L to the power alpha K to the power beta 
Now, first of all, let us try to find out the degree of homogeneity. How can I find out the degree of homogeneity? So, let us change the labor and capital by lambda proportion. Then, well, how can I write this part then? Since now L and K are changed by lambda proportion, I can write down A into lambda L to the power alpha, lambda K to the power beta. Now, A into L to the power alpha, K to the power beta, and I have lambda alpha plus beta. Now, look at this part. That is A into L to the power alpha, K to the power beta. This is nothing but our Q. This is A L to the power alpha, K to the power beta is Q. So, this is 1. So, from 1, what do we have? We have Q into lambda alpha plus beta. That means for this production function, our degree of homogeneity is alpha plus beta. Right? Now, this is not the question that I have to calculate the uh, degree of homogeneity but I have to say what should be the value of alpha and beta such that the production function there will be constant returns to scale and decreasing returns to scale I will also let you know about increasing returns to scale in this case so see here labor and capital is changed by uh, lambda unit so I have to see that if I want uh, increasing returns to scale then Q must increase by more than lambda units uh, in case of decreasing returns to scale I need uh, lambda to be less than lambda that is q should be less than that and if any constant returns to scale then the q should change by exactly lambda proportion so i will just write down the conclusion here since we already have uh, uh, discussed about what are the returns to scale and you know the definition so we can just directly write down the answer so number one cr is if alpha plus beta is equals to one okay if the value of alpha plus beta is equals to one then the output the production function will follow constant returns to scale why is this so try to understand see here uh, q when i am changing labor and capital by lambda proportion q is changing by lambda to the power alpha plus beta proportion for constant returns to scale i need only lambda to the power one so that means the power should be one so alpha plus beta should be one for crs by same logic if i need irs that means this should be greater than lambda that means power should be greater than one so alpha plus beta should be greater than one for increasing returns to scale that means if labor and capital is changed by lambda proportion returns that is q is changed by more than lambda proportion so that is my increasing returns to scale and finally decreasing returns to scale if alpha plus beta is less than one that means here uh, if uh, L and K are changed by lambda proportion, then Q should change by less than lambda proportion. So, alpha plus beta should be less than 1 and hence we have our answer. So, this is the answer. That's all.